So how do you improve performance? Commitment, consistency, and coaching. Now this can either be self-coaching or with an actual coach, but either way, training needs to be individual to you, your physiology, and your goals, so you maximize the return on the time you spend training. For endurance athletes, VO2 max is the single most important physiological metric that determines performance. So in general terms, the higher your body's ability to process oxygen, the more fuel your muscles will get, and the faster and the longer you'll be able to go. Your VO2 max is like your engine capacity, the size and the capacity of your engine. Next is your anaerobic threshold, and in particular, where this is in relation to your VO2 max. So your threshold is the point at which you stop using fat as a source of fuel and start to rely on glycogen, which is the sugars in your muscles. And the good thing about this is VO2 max and your anaerobic threshold are highly trainable. The question is, do you know what yours are? And if you do, do you know what to do with that information? And if you don't, then how are you training effectively? So at Do3, we use some highly developed software called Inside, and we use this to pinpoint the key metrics. So we'll set you some very specific benchmark tests, and then effectively we do the rest, and from there we generate a report which gives you a snapshot of your current performance metrics. We can highlight strengths and weaknesses, and then prescribe training to work on these, your own specific workouts. Not only that, with regular testing, Inside will track progress over time so that we can ensure training is being effective and staying on track. You just need to do the work. Inside is also a way of providing a wealth of vital, other vital information. So individualized training zones, lactate accumulation and clearance rates so that your interval sessions are based on, again, your own unique physiology. And for endurance athletes, you'll be provided with crucial information about your carbohydrate and fat consumption. This allows proper, evidenced training and racing fueling strategies. Quite frankly, this is a game changer. You're unique, so your training should be too.